गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आफ्टर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस वी आर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर मेथड हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन अप्लाइंग द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर मेथड सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी आर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर मेथड ओके टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड the first condition nature of the roof here that it is a given what is the nature what is the behavior of the roof in that situation some situations are created when what is the behavior of the roof or the nature of the roof all of you know that the standard equation in the quadratic form that is the ax square plus bx plus c that is equal to 0 and you also find the root root that is x that is equal to minus b plus minus and the root b square minus 4ac divided by 2b this is the roots of the quadratic equation if one tries to take can take the positive sign rule so it is known as in the form of the alpha and if you take the negative sign then it is known as the beta so here are the condition of the roots if the value the value of the d d it means the discriminant the value of the discriminant the roots are different here the d is equal to that is equal to b square minus 4ac this is called as the discriminant the formula d that is equal to b square minus 4ac this is known as the discriminant here are the three conditions where the value of the roots how we can find it depends on the value of the discriminant here the first condition two distinct real root it means the roots are real but they are the distinct it will defect in which condition the condition is that if b square minus 4ac that is greater than 0 it means this value that is a greater than 0 or you can say that another form that d is greater than 0 if the d is greater than 0 then your quadratic equation provides two distinct real roots second condition if that two equal roots it means if the b square minus 4 ac that is equal to 0 either you can say that d is a uh, equal to 0 means if the value of discriminant that is equal to 0 then you can say that the roots are real and equal and third and last condition no real roots it is imaginary at that situation if b square minus 4ac that is less than 0 it means you can say d is a less than 0 so here are the three condition first condition is that d is a greater than 0 second condition is that d is equal to 0 and third condition is that d is a less than 0 when d is a discriminant this is a very important point because in each year related to the conditions the questions are asking in board examination so i will listen in very carefully that i will repeat it again if the discriminant is a greater than 0 at that situation you have two real and distinct roots if the value of discriminant that is equal to 0 then you have two equal roots and real also if the condition third condition if the value of the d that is less than 0 at that situation you have no real roots it means it depends on the three conditions so we are talking about the exercise the next exercise we are solving some problems related to the these conditions so we are going to ahead i think to so understand these formulas and after that we are going to solving some problems related to the exercise okay Exercise 4.4. Here the exercise 4.4. Exercise 4.4. That is given some questions. The first question is that find the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations. If the real root exists, find them. If the real roots, then it is exist, and then you can find. I take the question number second. 
फर्स्ट लास्ट सेकंड यह द इक्वेशन इज गिवन बाय 3x स्क्वायर माइनस 4√3x एंड प्लस 4 दैट इज इक्वल टू 0 दिस इज द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन फर्स्ट आई कंपेयर दिस इक्वेशन By the standard equation of the quadratic equation, this is that a x square plus b x and plus c that is equal to zero. Comparison, comparing both equation, then after the comparison of the both equation, that a, the a coset of x square that is three. So the value of a that is equal to three. Same the value of b that is equal to minus four under root three, and then the value of c that is equal to four. Here you see the coefficient of x that is equal to minus four under root three, and here the in the place of c that is a four, so c that is equal to four. Okay. Then how we can find the here quality of the roots? Are the condition of the roots for finding the condition of the roots or quality of the roots? First, you find the value of d. It means discriminant. So d that is equal to b square minus 4ac. This is only the discriminant. So d b square it is minus 4 root 3, and that whole square minus 4a. The value of a that is a 3, and the value of b that is 4. So 4 square minus square is a plus, so 4 for the 16 into 3 and minus 4 theta 12 and 12 for the 48 and that is equal to here 48 and minus 48, so that is equal to g. Here you can say that d is equal to g. D is equal to g. If the d is equal to zero, at that situation you can say roots are roots are real and equal. Because the condition of d is given, d is equal to zero, it means roots are real and equal. Then you can find the roots. So the formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus under root d and divide by 2a. X is equal to minus b. The value of b this is a minus 4 under root 3. So minus minus 4 under root 3 plus minus the value of d that is equal to zero and divide by 2 into a. The value of a that is equal to 3. Okay, so x that is equal to minus minus plus four under root three and divide by two root three. So here two into three. So root three cancel with three by root three times two to the four. So the x is equal to two under root three. So here are the two roots. First root is also two under root three. And second root also two under root three because here the roots are equal. Why? Because the value of t that is equal to zero. So I think all of you understand these questions. And you apply this type of question, you can solve many other questions. So we are going to solve question number second. Find the value of k for each of the following quadratic equation so that They have to equal roots. Here the question is given that the they have equal roots. If they have equal roots, it means d is equal to zero. If you apply that d is equal to zero, then you find the value of constant k of the given equations. Okay. So here is that the question number first, second of first is given that two x square. And plus k x and plus three that is equal to g. Here you find the value of k when that both root roots are real and equal. At that situation, first.
फर्स्ट यू राइट डाउन द स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ द क्वालिटी फ्रॉम बी एक्स स्क्वायर ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो यू कंपेयर ए स्क्वायर टू टू बी स्क्वायर टू कांस्टेंट के एंड सी स्क्वायर टू थ्री आफ्टर दैट इज फाइंड सिंस हियर इन द क्वेश्चन दैट गिवन द रूट्स आर इक्वल द रूट्स आर इक्वल इफ द रूट्स आर इक्वल एट दैट सिचुएशन यू कैन से डी दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो इट मींस बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो द वैल्यू ऑफ बी दैट इज अ के सो के स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए स्क्वायर टू टू एंड सी स्क्वायर टू थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड इज अ के स्क्वायर इट इज इक्वल टू फोर टू सा एट थ्री सा ट्वेंटी फोर सो के स्क्वायर टू You take the square root. First, you take the factorization. So it is equal to that plus minus under root two to the four, four to the eight, three to the twenty-four. So k is equal to plus minus here under root that here is the two. So you take out of the roots and under root two, three to the six. So k. That is equal to plus minus two under root six. If the value of k that is equal to plus minus two under root six, then you can say that this equation has equal roots. Okay. So you apply this formula. This question is also very important because this type of the question is also asking in the board examination. So I'll be clear about this. We are going to solve the next question here. In the following situations possible, if some determinants they are present in it, the sum of the a's of the two friends is the sum of the a's of two friends is that twenty years, four years ago the product of their a's in year was forty eight. So I say the a's are question number four. I say let the a's of one friend is is x year. Therefore, other other is equal to twenty minus x year. Because the sum of both a's is Twenty. Here condition is given. Four years ago, four years ago it is before. So it is x minus four. And here is also twenty minus x minus four. That is equal to the product is equal to forty-eight. So this is the forty-eight. Then x minus four. Another bracket is twenty minus four. 16 minus x that is the 48. So x into 16, 16x minus x square minus 64 and plus 4x that is equal to 48. Next you transfer all in another side so this is the x square. Yes, 16x plus 4x that is 20x in that side minus 20x. Plus 48 and plus 64 because here is a negative in that side this is a positive. So here you see that x square minus 20x plus 8 for 12, 6 for 10, 1, 11 that is equal to zero. First you find the value of d. D is equal to B square minus 4 AC. Here B, the value of B that is equal to minus 20 and minus 4 A is equal to 1 and C is equal to 100. So 20 square that is equal to 400 minus 4 to the 8, 4 ones are 4 and 4 ones are 4. So this is a minus 48. Here d is equal to 
minus 48 thickness. D is a less than zero. At that situation, roots are roots are imaginary. Numericals, solve numericals. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.